oh i forgot to update you guys okay so You guys, I didn't want to put my wig on. I didn't want to do nothing. So we outside in my bonnet, in my Puma hoodie, with my seatbelt on. And it's a whole new day. It's Saturday. It's later in the day. It's like five. And um, I'm about to edit. And I'm trying to do DoorDash, obviously. <sighs> if I'm in the car and I'm just sitting here and I just pull out the camera, most likely I am about to do DoorDash or I'm in the middle of DoorDash or I just got done doing <laughs> DoorDash. So, oh my God, look at all these birds. What the heck? Okay, let me let me turn it around. Look at all of these birds. Did you guys ever watch the bird movie where it was like hella birds and they're supposed to be like a scary ass movie? Like they were black birds just like this. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Okay. Hella birds over there. It's never birds over there. Last time I saw a uh, what's it called? A police like uh what's it called i don't know what type of flag that is but it was like a oh yeah it was a blue lives matter flag over there now i see birds so next time i'm gonna see what else is over here because i'm just like why is there birds why is there birds i mean there has to be like a scientific reason but there's nothing over there it's just plain land so i have no idea you guys but um yeah let me get to editing i'm just sitting outside this wing stop of course classic classic if you're a door dasher type in the comments below if you agree that wing stop is just the clutch like the clutch what's it called i was gonna say clutch store clutch restaurant for DoorDash because you can just sit outside this hoe and just wait for orders like i hate doing fast food i hate doing like regular restaurants and wing stop is a mix between both and that's why i like doing wig stop so i don't know Ooh, i don't know why my hands hurting let me stop complaining because i know how that feels people complain a lot it's like so yeah let me get back to editing and um okay my hand is really hurting i don't know why does that mean anything if like okay it stopped or is it i don't know if you're what is this this is my right side so i don't know that was weird it started hurting like right here that's weird okay anyways i'm about to edit but i thought i would pull the camera out because this is the start to the vlog start to the vlog and i kind of look busted but it's okay it's okay because i didn't really try so i might make some tiktoks even though i kind of do actually look busted so maybe i shouldn't make tiktoks you know what i'm saying Hold on, let me let me wipe this camera because for some reason it looks foggy. Wait a minute. It looks so much better now. I thought I had wiped it before, but maybe, you know, I do wipe my camera a lot. So maybe my mind thought I did when I really didn't. But um, my podcast is uploading actually right now. So make sure you guys check it out. I was low-key dreading like editing this episode because I thought I like repeated myself, but it's actually a good episode. Like if you're going through a breakup, I feel like it'll help you, like actually help you because I'm going through a breakup right now and I'm trying to get over it and I go through tips on like what I'm doing right now. Then I also go on like headspace.org which is kind of like a credible source and I just talk about their tips and with it combined hopefully it can help you. I mean that's why I make the podcast. I do it for you and I do it for me. So I don't know I'm just really excited about that episode so make sure you guys check it out. I do put a lot of effort into my episodes every single week so make sure you guys check it out of course of course. Interesting nothings youtube channel it's always in the description so um yeah let me let me get off let me stop and i'll catch up with y'all okay so i'm back home y'all and i honestly i made a little bit of money but not what i normally make but it's still some money so i'm appreciative at the end of the day and now i'm about to get ready for bed i'm trying to finish my skincare my itches my skincare routine and also guys i'm just gonna plug my instagram like i know i always plug my shit but it's literally my channel and i don't know it just seems fitting but like follow me on instagram because i'm like hella active like it's really fun to post on instagram and like even post on my story and stuff so if you want to follow it's jzzrnee -E, or you can just look in the description if you forget i don't know but um 
I always have it down there. So if you ever want to follow it, you can. And like I said, like Instagram is so fun to me. So I'm going to always post on there. Like not only am I like going to post on my feed, I'm also going to post on my story. And I don't know. It just would be cool if you followed me on all platforms, you know. My other platforms are down below in the description as well. But anyways, this clip is not just a plug. <laughs> My shit. It's just like, literally, while I was waiting for orders, I was on Instagram. And I'm like, Instagram is so much fun. Like, so if you ever want to, you can. Like I said, I'm doing my skincare routine right now. About to get ready for bed. Really, actually, what I was supposed to do was um, edit my YouTube video. Still haven't done that because I was on Instagram. So it's not like I wasn't working per se, because I want to like, I'm working on all of my platforms, but I was supposed to edit and I didn't. So I'm going to do it tomorrow. And also tomorrow, I think I'm going to be going to a basketball game, the Texas Legends. It's free. I don't know. So just keep watching because I'm probably going to have some footage there and it's going to be fun, you know? fun times but yeah so right now i'm just doing my skincare routine oh my god the cap fell i'm gonna end this clip here because i've already showed you guys my skincare routine and nothing's different so good night i'll um see you guys in the next day in the same position as yesterday but good morning guys it's sunday and today we're going to a legends game and i think we might be going to get some lunch later on so i might show you guys what i got and what i you know what i'm eating whatever but i'm really excited because like today i just feel refreshed i feel good because one i took a shower and then two i unfollowed like hella people on my instagram like people that i'm not inspired by one and then two like this just, just to follow them like just because they follow me like so i was like <laughs> unfollow then also just like random people that i have followed like you know so i was just like chee, 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 and it feels so good guys and i can't wait to grow my account um i'm just so excited like i just feel like this is like a new beginning and i love new beginnings you know because if you're cool i'm following you like that like that's this is a done deal like i'm following you you're following me we're happy family like you know type shit but like so many people i was like why am i following you <laughs> So I have followed hella people and I've never been happier. And I just want to tell like, maybe, you know, this is like a known fact or something, but like, if you really don't like fuck with somebody or if you just like, you're following them because you know them, think again, think again. Like, do you, are you inspired by them? Do they actually have a good feed? Like, do you want them to be on your feed? Like, ask these important questions because you're following them. They're following you and they can unfollow, follow, you know, but they're already following you. It's your decision to follow them. Just because you know them doesn't mean you have to follow them. It's all I'm saying, like, just because you know of them or whatever, you don't got to follow them. And I know, like, childhood me, you know, teenage me, I used to get so, so sad over people that like didn't follow me back because I followed them. Because I was just like, why are you not following me back? Like, I know you, you know me. Why aren't you following me back? You know? And it's like little social media shit, but just like, I'm over that hump now. Like, that happened whenever I was a teenager. Whenever social media was like really on and popping, like, you know, just starting. Yeah. I mean, those are feelings I feel like everybody has gone through if you start having a social media account. So I would say to those people, if you just now started a social media account or whatever for Instagram specifically, if you know them and they're actually inspiring you and you want to follow them, then do it. But if you know them and you don't want to follow them because they're not inspiring you or, you know, whatever the case is, like just think of a reason and it has to be a good reason. It's not just because you're ugly or whatever, but just like if they're not like actually like something that you want to follow, then unfollow them. And now I kind of understand why people didn't follow me back because maybe, well, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know their reasoning. I can't, you know, but it's the fact that like now I'm doing it to people and I don't feel bad because I'm just like, you're not like, you know, I'm not going to follow you. Like I have a bigger standard. I'm putting on deodorant, but like, <laughs> I have a bigger standard. And you know, if you don't really like meet that, I don't know if that sounds cocky, but like, if you don't meet that, then it's just like, unfollow, you know? Especially if like, I like all your pictures and you don't like any of my shit. It's just like, what's 
Like, and then you watch my story. You watch my story, you don't like any of my shit. Like, I know you see my page. You just don't like it. You just don't like it. So if you don't like it, then I don't really like you. <laughs> like, if you don't like me, then I guess I don't really like you. I mean, I knew these people, so I was just like, okay, well, let me see. And I was just like, is it worth it? Is it valuable? No, so just unfollow. Like, there's no point. Like, I would really only like, like their shit because I just like everybody's posts. Like, I like everybody's posts because I like people to like my posts as well. Like, I would want them to return the favor. So if you're not returning the favor, but you're still watching me, you kind of a fan. <laughs> oh no, that's kind of like fan behavior to me. And I'm just like, you know what? I just be liking your shit just to like it. It's not that I actually like it. Well, actually, no, sometimes I do be liking shit because I actually like it. But I'm just saying at the end of the day, I'm rambling, but at the end of the day, if you know somebody and you're following them, it's okay to unfollow them because if you don't want them in your feed or whatever, whatever the case is, it's okay, okay? It's okay. But anyways, I'm about to get ready and I just thought I would say that because it was on my mind and it's like really special, so. I'll catch up with y'all. And the power for collision, he's number eleven, Ron Han Han, the big man, and center, six nine, number thirty two, Dan so you guys i'm back from the basketball game and okay i'm trying to like figure out a way to stand but i'm back from the basketball game and right now i really want to edit but then i'm also like hella tired for some reason like i just want to go to sleep i don't know why i just want to go to sleep but like i told myself i was going to edit this video so i think i'm just going to edit the video like i just don't know why i'm so tired i think it's just because like i'm in my bed and it's dark outside and it's just making me like want to go to sleep because i don't know i just want to go to sleep but i thought i would just pull out my camera and tell you guys that um my team once we went to like just a texas legends game i already told you guys that and i was going for the opposite team and they were a red team and i was like okay this is red versus blue like what and the red one i was just like uh, I think it was like 97 or no it was 110 to 97 so I was like okay bet like and it was an away game for the obviously the red team because Texas Legends is blue so um yeah it was really fun and I'm like I said I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to edit my video right now or not I really was supposed to like have done so many other things today but i think i might just do it tomorrow because just it's a brand new week i don't know i'm just gonna start editing today i think i'm just gonna start even though like i low-key don't want to even though it is fun like once i get into it but it's also just like <laughs> i'm tired bro like i just want to go to sleep for some reason but um yeah i love basketball Let's Okay, good night. Or if I see you in another clip, hey, but probably. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. It's the next day and I am up in Adam. I didn't wake up as early as I want to. We're still going to try it this week. You guys, I'm trying. I'm trying, okay? Like, I'm trying because i don't know it's hard because i literally i was looking at my youtube channel and i was looking at my podcast and i was looking at everything i do for like you know my social media my instagram all that stuff and i realized i'm doing a lot <laughs> like literally the vlogs that i post are like 45 like 30 to 45 minutes and i have to edit those and like i want to edit it not just like simple edits like i want to do like you know cool ass stuff so like it takes a while to edit those and then i edit my podcast videos i record my podcast i do all this stuff so no wonder i'm tired and so i don't know I feel like I do have a lot on my plate, but then I'm also like, I can do this. Like at the same time, I can do this. And I'm not trying to like burn out or do anything like that. Like, I willingly take breaks and everything, but I'm also like, right now I'm literally trying to trade. I try to make time for um, everything that I'm trying to do. So I'm also trading on the side. Like it's a lot, it's a lot, it's a lot, but it's okay. We're gonna get through this. And you know, right now my eyes kind of feel like, oh, let me just fall asleep but it's like no i got coffee in my system because i already ate breakfast i woke up already took a shower i washed my face i got my handy dandy chlorophyll water you know what i'm saying so we on and popping all right i just wanted to update you guys because i haven't said good morning to y'all so good morning good morning good morning and um let's have a great day today today i'm going to write my outline for my podcast because i record tomorrow 
and then I'm going to possibly take an Instagram picture today but I might I might honestly do that tomorrow after I record or do it Wednesday I don't know we'll see about the Instagram picture I do have an idea but I'm just like I don't know if I want to do it yet I don't know 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 oh and then i also really okay so hopefully i don't know if it's gonna be this vlog but it might be my next vlog this hair like needs to be shampooed and conditioned and all that so i might just wash and condition my wigs all at once so either in this vlog or the next vlog i'm gonna be doing that and then i thought i had something else what did i what else did i have oh and then i also need to make shrimp for my salads because i have no shrimp in there and i'm trying to eat salads for lunch you guys i'm trying to be healthy like it's a lot of things that i'm implementing all at once so i think that's also it and i'm still processing a breakup on top of that but it's okay me and god are best friends he got me <laughs> you know he, he got me he got me okay he got me so anyways okay let me get back to the trading and i'll catch up with y'all Mwah. <laughs> You guys okay i just looked on youtube and i saw my feed that sad shorties is about to post i'm so excited they are like one of my many inspirations like i love their channel i love how raw it is i love how candid it is i love the edits i love everything about it so the fact that they're posting it's just amazing and i just wanted to tell you guys because i'm really excited and they're my bitches like i love destiny i love puffy i wish key was still a part of the group but at the same time, I feel like she was low-key. I'm not even going to say it because I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. But um, I'm just really excited. So I just wanted to tell you guys because they haven't posted in a long ass time. And I'm like, where is Sad Shorties? Like, I love y'all. Like, what? I want to be a part of y'all's group, but I'm not Jamaican or, you know, so it's just like, I'm just American Black. <laughs> I'm just American Black. So, but like, they're all like mixed with like, african and stuff i'm like what that's so cool did i say jamaican they're probably just mixed with like african is what i meant to say but um yeah anyways okay i actually so let me update y'all i just uploaded my vlog that goes before this one check it out if you haven't already and um now i'm about to go and try to cook this shrimp because i was supposed to do this yesterday but then we went to the basketball game and all this stuff so now i'm about to do that and also eat my salad because i'm trying to eat more salads you guys today is gonna be a better day i just feel better already like i unfollowed hella like i unfollowed more people and i'm just like i'm just happy i'm just like only people who actually fuck with me will follow me and only people that i actually fuck with i'm gonna follow and if you ever treated me horrible fuck you and i'm unfollowing you like there's why am i following you you don't deserve my follow like my worth is so much better and i don't know i just feel light and free so yeah <laughs> i just wanted to say that um but yeah let me go downstairs cook the shrimp i'll catch up with y'all after so guys i'm like checking my analytics and 100 hours of watch time what thank you guys i just love the little message it says like people love watching your videos so much they can't oh wait no people love your videos so much they can't stop watching like let me turn it around thank you guys um that's an honor really i'm humbled in my heart i'm so happy that you know i can provide some type of entertainment for y'all depending on what video it is i mean not everybody watches all of my videos and that's perfectly fine but um the ones that you did watch hey i just want to personally say thank you um I really want to just like appreciate every like stepping stone and even though like in the grand scheme of things this could be like kind of small it's a new achievement and I've honestly never seen that I said two days ago so I mean I'm just now really looking at it I'm like thanks guys <laughs> like thank you um I already love all 20 of my subscribers Mwah. and uh, we're just going to keep going up from here because i'm gonna be vlogging non-stop non-stop <laughs> non-stop i just wanted to personally say thank you um yeah so also sad shorties um i posted this here and this is what happened she watched my story you guys so like i'm kind of waiting on destiny to repost my you know my boomerang but it was really cool that they like just puffy which puffy is really cool too like puffy is a cool but i mean they're both cool but i don't know like puffy is really cool and the fact that she like reposted my show i'm just like 
<laughs> thank you because I really am a fan like I'm actually a fan <laughs> I'm actually a fan of y'all I've watched y'all for the longest time so I'm truly a fan and I'm humbled that you um reposted my shit like thank you <laughs> I was like literally when I saw it I was like oh my god like she reposted my post which I kind of honestly I'm gonna be honest I kind of expected it but then also I was like who knows like you know maybe I don't know because not everybody has to repost everything i'm glad that she saw that it was worth reposting i guess is really what i mean and <laughs> so happy okay so um right now i don't know what i'm about to do but i thought i would just pull out the camera because i was excited to see that achievement and it said two days ago and i didn't see that you know until now so yep okay i'll catch up with y'all so y'all i was on twitter and i was like i need to show this to my blog because this is literally me and i posted this in my close friends and y'all are my close friends i screenshotted this tweet and i thought i would just go through the thread with y'all because i can really relate to this like i was like wow like it's just crazy to me that other people have gone through it and they are feeling the same feelings that i felt so if you didn't read it, I'll read the tweet. It says, I cannot believe I used to let people treat me the way I did. Am I okay in the head? And when I saw this, I was like, instant retweet. Because I'm like, that's exactly how I felt. I was like, what? Like, am I okay in the head? Like, why did I feel so small to other people? Why did I belittle myself so much? Like, that was not okay. Like, why did I give other people so much power? Like, why did I feel powerless? Like, and... I don't know those are questions that you know sometimes you can fall into like a victim mentality because you can be like well why did my environment teach me like that or you know why were people thinking it was okay to like feel like they were better than me or I don't know I don't know maybe it's just a human thing people just do that because they're just evil I don't know you know I don't know but I'm gonna read you the thread because it's just it's just it warms my heart you guys and I can just relate this one I really liked because it said it's okay lesson learned you no longer people please and no longer asking for a seat that is so important and I'm glad she put the asterisk there because I used to feel like that I used to be like can I just please be a part or be whatever like how can I prove myself of whatever it is that I was trying to prove and I'm like I don't have to prove anything I shouldn't have to prove anything like I am what I am and that's it like at the end of the day that's it and you are what you are and that's it you're the table setter now and your boundaries got your circle in check exactly and this is exactly why i want to bring in those type of people to be in my circle to be like we all got our boundaries in check we on our way to greatness like you know and then the other one says old me really disappoints me and i i agree so much with this one because i'm like why 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 did that happen like that shouldn't have happened like i'm disappointed in you jasmine for doing that because <laughs> you shouldn't have done that like that's that's not who we are like why did we act like that like that's not who we are you know and then it says under that let old you be an example of your growth not an object of your shame and honestly I really thought that like whenever I look back and I'm like wow like I wasn't myself at all whatever I'm like shameful and it's like kind of embarrassing because it's like it wasn't me so it's just like it's very shameful so I'm glad she said that it's just like it, it changes your perspective. It's like, look at it as an example of your growth. You started somewhere and that's where you started. And that's okay. You're here now though. You're here now. Focus on the now. <laughs> um, another one said, after being mad at someone, you become more mad at yourself for tolerating or being fooled, etc. Don't be mad at that part. It just shows you what you need to change about yourself and your limits. Exactly exactly because I would get so mad I'm like why didn't I step up for myself more or why didn't I do this or why didn't I do that like why why didn't why did I not feel like I could do that that's you can do that like absolutely fine you can't blame yourself for people taking your kindness for a weakness that's their loss so true so true so true and then what I really liked was this never let the evil in them make you question the beauty in you and I commented I was like love this because I was like that is so powerful like some people can be just so evil and either they're jealous or whatever it is but they can just make you feel awful because you have something either you have something that they don't or they just don't want to see you shine or your your light's too big and theirs isn't whatever it is I mean they everyone has a light 
you know, so maybe they're just not healed enough or whatever the case is. But I thought that was so important to note because a lot of times, you know, if someone says your shirt is ugly, you know, that's just their opinion. And maybe they didn't have to say it was ugly, but it's just their opinion at the end of the day. Like, don't let them their opinion, their evil, their whatever, their malicious intentions get you off your rocker. Like that is so, so, so true. And I'm glad someone else commented that because I've noticed that I'm like, there's so much evil in the world and people can intentionally like target you and just be like, no, no, no. But it's like, yes. (laughs) Like, it's just, it's so simple now. It's just like, but yes, like you're not in my world. You're not in my shoes. You're not whatever. Yes yes like just simply yes so i don't know when i saw that i was like wow someone else who thinks like me (laughs) because i'm like yeah don't let nobody's evil whatever intentions get you off because nah you the shit bitch (laughs) um i think that's all i liked but i really like that thread it's just like It's just really encouraging and the fact that like it got a lot of retweets and likes it just shows like I'm not alone in this like I'm not alone where you know I just really felt small or whatever like other people have too and I knew like other people did too but it's just a different feeling and the thread like the comments are just like really really helpful and nice and a lot of times you know you can get sucked into like oh why was I like that I'm disappointed in myself all these kind of negative things even though like I am kind of disappointed in myself but at the same time it was a catalyst for your growth and you can see how far you've came and that's the most important part about it all so I just really wanted to talk about that because I really love that thread and how many times do I have to say that but I really like that thread it was just really nice for me to see I'm like <laughs> retweet okay let me get ready because i need to still film this podcast and i'll catch up with y'all after okay okay just finished doing my makeup y'all i'm trying to decide if i want to do my podcast first or take this instagram photo first because my makeup is fresh and i feel like i did a pretty good job actually on it so i feel like it looks better in person honestly but this is just how it's looking like and i think i might take some pictures because i really just want to take them now before i start my podcast and i really can just do my podcast at any time of the day today i kind of want to take the picture for my instagram either today or tomorrow i don't know i don't know i'm letting you guys see makeup and I think actually I might do my hair too because just need some body or whatever so I might curl some pieces and then record and take some pictures and do these TikToks so I thought I would just check in all right so you guys um it's hours later and I already uploaded my Instagram pictures go check it out jzzrnee and literally I was just looking at it right now right now looking at the pictures right and I'm like already found a a critique and I'm not gonna say it because then y'all are just gonna look for it and I'm just like no but like I already found a critique and I'm just like I literally find something for every photo like every every post that I have on Instagram I have a critique from me (laughs) which I guess you you should always improve but I just want to have a post that's like perfect without any tweaks you know what I'm saying without any tweaks like where is that at because to somebody else they could look at it and just be like oh you know it's fine like it really it really doesn't matter and that's what I that's what I saw I mean that's what I thought you know at first but then I literally (laughs) I'm looking at the photo you guys I'm just like that could have been better like that could have been better like I always have something to critique but it's okay. It's literally fine. Not every post is going to be perfect. So I'm not perfect. No human is perfect. So it's just like, I already posted it. And I'm just like, maybe I should have did this instead. But I already posted it. You know what I'm saying? I already posted it. Do you guys like my eyeshadow look? See right here, it doesn't look dark. I think it's just because of my eyelashes that make it it makes it look extra dark but my eyeshadow is really cute actually 
you guys okay i'm about to go to bed and um call it a night i was gonna record my podcast but then i did some tiktoks instead and what else did i do i ate some dinner and then now i'm about to go to bed because it's around my bedtime and it's time to go to bed basically <laughs> so yeah i think i'm just going to edit this vlog tomorrow and then also record my podcast tomorrow so yes with that being said today is the last day of this vlog thank you guys for watching um let me know what's your favorite part of the vlogs if you want to comment so you don't have to and make sure to like the video because it helps me a lot you know click the subscribe and follow me on all of my socials jzzrnee -E, instagram interesting nothings podcast youtube channel and on spotify and on apple podcast and google podcast is that what it's called google podcast i don't know um what else oh butterfly love on tiktok <laughs> why am i touching my face i need to stop doing that um what else that's it but penelope wants to say hi and I'm just sad because I'm just like, I thought my post was like perfect. <laughs> Not even perfect. No post is perfect. But I thought it was like good enough. And now I'm looking at it, I'm like, I could have did this different. <laughs> Does this happen to y'all? Like, is this like a regular thing for people who take pictures on Instagram? Like, maybe it's a regular thing. I don't know. But yeah. I'm not... I'm not going to dwell on this too much longer because I can't change it, you know? I literally can't change it. It's just like, you know, I know better for the future. That's literally all it is. I know better for the future. So, <laughs> that's literally all it is because it's a really good post besides that. But to me, I'm just like... <laughs> i'm just gonna see it every time now maybe i'm just gonna forget but most likely if i find something i'm not gonna forget <laughs> i'm not gonna forget okay like i said penelope says hi and she actually says bye she says subscribe subscribe hit the like button okay bye bitches i love you all okay let's end the video subscribe bitch <laughs>